I wanted to talk about medication today. Or I wanted to talk about I wanted to talk to people who are thinking about trying some kind of medication for like mental illness. I mean, I, I had anxiety, but I also had, uh, it turned out later, more like major depression from the anxiety, really. Um, but, I mean, I was treated with medication because my symptoms came on so quickly and so dramatically that I got treated right away and it was really good. Um, the first thing I ever tried worked perfectly for me. That's why I'm generally pro-medication. But uh, I am very lucky. Most people, the first drug they try doesn't necessarily work for them. And uh, there's also some stigma attached to it, but more than the stigma, I wanted to talk about the kind of fundamental feelings that somebody who's thinking of trying a medication is going to go through, apart from feeling scared that it might not even work or possibly make things even worse, which in some cases it does, and that's very scary because when you get to the point where you're going to try taking medication, things are already pretty bad. So one of the things that, that really bothered me uh, in terms of thinking about taking medication when I first started was that it would fundamentally change me, you know, change, change my character and my personality. Which in, in a way, it did, because I suppose you are shaped by your stresses in your life. But, um, so which one of you is the real you? The you that's off the medication or the you that's on the medication? Well, they're both you. Your brain is a very, very complex system of chemicals. You add one chemical to it, it's going to change it a little bit. It's still you. But the question is, for me, is that with my medication, taking my medication allowed me to be the person that I wanted to be. It allowed me the freedom to be the person that I wanted to be. So it's not which is you, which isn't you, it's which person do you want to be. I feel like that's the question rather than, I've heard several people argue the point, well which is the real you, the real you on the medication or the real you off the medication. I feel like that isn't really the point. I don't think that's really the true question at hand. I think the question at hand is, what person do you want to be? Because I feel fundamentally like I'm still me, but I feel like I have space to breathe now when I'm on my medication. I went, I went off of it for three months a couple of years ago just because I was curious. Like, I'd been up on it for several years, and I was curious to just see, you know, what I'd be like. So I went off of it for three months. I tapered it down, but I was off of it completely for a solid three months. And um, and things did change. I mean, my character did change a bit, and I did feel different. I mean, things felt vivid to me. Everything, the volume on everything felt as though it was turned up. But the problem was, I was actually... Sometimes things are really good, sometimes things are really bad. But the problem is, is that, on the whole, I was a bit more down. And um, I think the reason I was a bit more down is because I was just more stressed. Because the volumes turned up kind of too loud on all my senses, and it was it felt un it feels so much so that it feels a bit uncomfortable, and and as well as that that it was uncomfortable sometimes for the people around me, because people I was living with said, hey, you know what? Since you've been off of this, we've had like three fights in the last month, and uh, and we don't fight, so that was something I hadn't even thought of until they brought it up, but. Uh, so I think they were pleased when I got back on my medication. Um, and to be honest, so was I. Because sometimes having the volume turned up too loud is just too uncomfortable. And it, I need to have a bit of, of... It's not dullness, it's just more feeling steady. Just to cope with things well. And I, you know what, and if you've been on medication and it hasn't worked out well for you, and it must be, it's so frustrating to go from doctor, doctor, to doctor, doctor, trying all these medications, some of them either don't work, some of them have weird side effects, or some of them make things sometimes worse when things are already bad to begin with, which is why you want to try a medication, that I understand why some people be completely off of it. But here's the thing, is if, if you tried everything else, and all the therapies and things like that, and it doesn't make any substantial difference, then you do have to kind of take a risk with a new kind of medication, and it is very hit and miss, because fundamentally, they, they come up with medications that for some people work, but they don't know completely why they work. 
And there are so many different components and factors that go into producing a mental illness, which is, which is the reason why this medication might work for, for one person and not for another person. It's because they can't count on all those different factors. And that's why medication is so hit and miss for so many people. And I understand why it would be totally, why, why somebody would feel completely despondent. You know, I've known people who've gone from, from medication to medication to medication and nothing's worked and sometimes made things even worse. And that's just so horrible. It's debilitating. I mean, I, I understand. It is. And it's incredibly discouraging. But here's the thing, is if you've gone through all this stuff and nothing's worked for you, as discouraging as it all is, Neural research is still in its, it's crawling out of its infancy right now. And there, it is not realistic or rational to think that new options that you can't even think of right now will not only be available soon, but probably sooner than you think. And the, there are a lot of reasons to be optimistic about options that right now do not actually exist for you. So maybe if you tried everything else and you haven't come up with anything, the best idea is to constantly be looking for new options. And try not to despair about it. Because mental illness is tough. Really tough. And I've only had a glimpse into how bad it can be. I don't even know anything like the full extent of what most people who are diagnosed with mental illness feel like. But I, I wanted to put that out there because I, re I think that there are a lot of good reasons to be very optimistic.